Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about another part of the Rust book that is basically the trades. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. So as you can see here that I'm present in this Visual Studio code and inside this you can see here that these are the lessons that I have uh, like shown or taught you in my previous videos. So you can check this, uh, check them out. But now th in this video I'm going to be creating another lesson that is basically the trades. But before going to this uh, um, like the introduction of trades, let's uh, first of all create the directory like cargo new and then the lesson number is going to be 18th trades. And then the package name is going to be air trades okay so here yeah, let's zoom in now it will work fine so as you can see here that the trades directory is created inside this main.rs yes open this and let's close this one i don't need it for now and now the first thing that i'm going to do is to define this let's clear this some let's create them all and now let's write uh, what is trade so trade a trait is a shared uh, is a shared sorry shared behavior uh, shared behavior of multiple objects okay so a trait is a shared behavior of multiple objects so let's say uh, yeah, there is an, uh, you, uh, there there are multiple people right so let's say my i am a person another one is a person and third one is a person so there are multiple pers uh, people right so uh, what is the shared behavior of those objects or what is the shared behavior of multiple objects that are present among them uh, uh, like present so basically uh, the name is the shared behavior like every person has a name right and uh, what you can say um, every person has uh, has a eating habits right and every person like uh, has a um, walking habits so these are all the shared behaviors that are present among the people and similarly uh, if we take a look at the animals so every animal has a um, shared behavior of making noise every animal has a shared behavior of uh, making uh, like writing uh, like eating any kind of food so these are the shared behaviors among multiple objects okay so this is what called the traits so we will define the traits in the uh, rust uh, language uh, by showing you that how it will work so let's say uh, let's give an example first of all let's start from it and then what i will do here i will um, use the method uh, in order to uh, like show you the traits because in the previous video i have shown you that uh, uh, what is method and methods can be used in structs and uh, enums and traits but i covered the uh, structs and enums but uh, i didn't cover the uh, trait here so in this video i'm going to be covering the trait here and uh, I will be implementing the uh, what you can say method uh, method in this trait so that you can understand it. So yeah, this is part of the method in which the trait will be implemented. So let's uh, um, first of all let's write enum, and enum is basically animal. So it could be any animal, right? So let's say um, dog is the animal, okay? And now a cat is the animal, okay? So for now I'm just uh, keeping these two animals. You can extend it more. Now let's take a look at the trait. That what is the common behavior of this trait? So uh, common behavior of these animals. So I will write trait. This is the keyword of it. And now let's write um, a sound, okay? So this is sound is the common behavior of dog and cat you can uh, like write multiple uh, um, like you can create multiple traits but i'm just uh, first of all writing the sound that what is the sound of these uh, what you can say cat and dog and other animals all right so let's say if i write make make sound okay so now after that i will write self this is the function that i will be using inside the method okay so yeah this is basically the sound and the trait and inside this this is the function that i will be using inside the method because inside the method you can write any function but i will be naming the function based on this trait okay so let's say if i uh, now the next step is going to be implementing the method okay so let's write ample and now uh, we generally used the ample method like this animal okay but now in this case what i will do here i will write first of all sound that is the trait for animal it means that animals are present in this method but now the a specific trait will be allocated to those animals that is basically sound now which animal is making which kind of sound that can be written uh, in this method all right 
after that let's write uh, what you can say here um, um, the function name so the function name is already defined here you don't need to name any kind of function it is already defined like this okay so I will write um, fn make sound now the self keyword these are all the things that I have covered in my previous video uh, like previous than this video you can check this out now after that what I will do here I will write the match that is basically checking that which uh, uh, which uh, animal is present which animal will carry um, will make which kind of sound all right so I'll write self inside this I will write uh, what you can say animal animal dog so the animal dog will uh, will make this kind of sound right okay wow wow and now the animal dog will create this kind of sound a manual cat will create this kind of sound okay so meow 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 okay so yeah these are the two kind of sounds that are basically generated from these animals and this is the common behavior among these animals all right so yeah this is basically the sound the common behavior for these kind of animals and now this common behavior is defined in this function all right so from this point i hope you understood now let's write what you can say here mm, I'll write those in the function I'll call them in a function a main function and then what i will do here I will write first of all right let sound is equal to uh, what you can say here animal uh, uh, not sound but animal okay let's animal let animal is equal to animal uh, colon colon and then dog okay now the dog sound will be generated now how we can generate this I will simply write you know what you can say animal make sound so now this animal will create any kind of sound that is basically this animal and uh, based on these two animals it will take a look that which animal is present right so now let's run this first of all go to this 18th mm, uh, what you can say which lesson is this 18th traits okay and now let's write cargo run now you can see here uh, wow, wow this is the uh, dog sound and if I change this from dog to cat you will see here meow meow okay so yeah this is what the sound of the animal is and this is a common trait so you can write multiple uh, uh, traits also inside this trait uh, but if it is not limiting to if it is not relevant to sound then it doesn't make sense to write the function here instead let's say if you have um, if you have another trait that is basically like name then you can write uh, another trait specifically for it that is name okay because the sound is uh, is another trait and the name is another trait so you can uh, you don't need to mix it although you can write the function in it but uh, it's a good practice to uh, like uh, keep them separated so that the sound trait is uh, um, separated from this name trait and people can understand it that which trait is specifically from uh, for which uh, behavior of the object right so yeah this is relevant to enum now let's say if i want to implement the same thing in the uh, um, in the structure so how i can do this so let's define a structure okay so define a structure and structure is basically let's say data and now the data could be anything let's say age is a data okay so now let's write um, i30 uh, u32 uh, like this unsigned integer 32 bits and then the trait is basically this one trait uh, mm, let's say age okay this is specifically for the age and now let's write uh, what you can say here mm, like uh, okay so let's write the age uh, here and then mm, let's write something uh, what you can say here the a uh, may uh, function give age uh, like mm, uh, give age okay give age and then function name inside this trait after that implement this function implement this function for uh, what you can say for what again uh, a uh, for data 
implement the data but first of all that data is going to uh, age for data it means that implement this trait for this data okay so implement this trait for this data and now let's write function uh, function name the function name is this give age okay and inside this what i will do here i will write your age is your age is this okay after that i will write age here and now let's write uh, let age or let's say data is equal to uh, what you can see here this is the data variable uh, data struct so what i will do here i will write the structure here mm, data and inside this data i will write age let's say 32 okay 32 and then after that data is equal to give age So now it will give me the uh, result here okay self I need to mention the self here because the age is part of the uh, this trait that's why uh, it is giving me this message to implement the self now you can see here a meow meow this is a um, what you can see here the uh, sound of the um, animal and this is the age your age is 32 so yeah you can implement this tra um, what you can say trait in a uh, in a structure and you can also implement this trait in a uh, in a enum right so this is how the uh, trait will work in which it will uh, take a look at the shared behavior of the multiple objects whether that shared behavior is uh, sound whether that shared behavior is age or whether that shared behavior is name any kind of shared behavior that is among those multiple objects you can uh, you can write them right so this is how uh, that trait will uh, be working so from this video i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions and also questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye